Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. It's with a heavy heart that I put out tonight's video um, as a response to the sudden death this week of Dave Beach. Um, Dave Beach was a, a dearly loved character in Glastonbury. He helped many people. Um, he was always a constant smiling face. He was never down. You know, <sighs> I met I met Dave. I met Dave back at Glastonbury FM many years ago, and we we always got on. And it's, I don't know. I'm I'm just so shocked. I did a video about the community fridge about a month ago, and all I could think to do was just to put that back out again tonight because Dave's in it. The inimitable Dave is puts in appearance, so I'm really, 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 really upset by his, his passing. But anyway, here's a video I made a short while ago um, with Dave in it, and enjoy that. Bye. So hello and welcome to another Glastonbury Gabriel YouTube video. Today I'm back in Glastonbury again and it's another community asset. This time, the Glastonbury Fridge. So here I am at the busy Glastonbury fridge and we're going to meet Jemima in a minute who's the kind of person behind all this and we're going to meet some of the volunteers and find out exactly what goes on here. So, the Glastonbury community fridge, what is it? Why is it? Who is it? Who's it for? I've used the Glastonbury fridge on many, many occasions What's really good about it is it's actually re recycling food that would have gone to waste, would have been thrown away, which is a crime. So I came down today to talk to the people who run it, the volunteers, because it's all run by volunteers who come in, they clean the fridge out, they, they stock it with food, they go to the supermarkets, there's all sorts of things that they do, all behind the scenes that people who use this don't even probably realise goes on. So first of all, we're gonna go and meet Jemima. Now Jemima is the person who kind of coordinates and runs all this, so let's go. So we have here Jemima, who is the, remind me? Operations coordinator. Operations coordinator for the fridge. Hi. Hi. Tell me, what, why did you even do it? What made you think of the idea? Where, where did it come from? So I wasn't here at the very start. It started, I think we're uh, near two years now mm -hmm. since uh, Love Glastonbury started as a community group. Uh, we're now a charity, we've been a charity since March. So I wasn't there at the very start. I came in um, in October of last year to take over as uh, operations coordinator. Uh, and I was just thrilled to get the job really because it's just the dream, isn't it? Working to, you know, working with the environment, working to help people at the same time. Uh, and I get to meet a lot of lovely people along the way. I guess a lot of this food is, is going to be thrown away normally. Before you came along, this would have gone to the pigs or would it have been thrown away? What would have happened to it? Yeah, both both or either. Some of it um, does get used for animal feed when the supermarkets will obviously overproduce to meet their predicted demand. And then the food that's left over from that and can't be sold, uh, it may go to landfill or it may be wasted or go to animal feed. Um, so I think since we've started, the community fridge so far has saved around 80 tonnes uh, of food from going to landfill and redirected it into the community, into to people who need it. Absolutely brilliant. And one, one thing I want to make clear is this isn't a food bank. Um, please, there is no stigma coming down to taking food from here. Um, people who work use it. I, I, I use it. I, I take food from it. The idea is that it's putting food back into the community that would normally have gone to waste. And with food prices the way they are now, and the food shortages, we really, really shouldn't be throwing food away. And I mean, we shouldn't be throwing it away anyway, but I mean, now, even worse. So, um, 
Volunteers, you obviously are dependent on volunteers. I mean, how are you for volunteers? Do you need them? What would they do? What do you need doing? That sort of thing. We have several different volunteer roles. I think at the moment in our lovely team, we've got about 45 volunteers. So we're quite a big group. Um, we try and have regular meetings and everyone's very lovely. We do need people to come along and join us. Um, there's a few different things we do, so obviously we've got the, the food bank, the community pantry up on the high street. We could do with people to help organise that, rotate stock. Um, and then at the fridge we have people uh, going to pick up the surplus food from the supermarkets and then restock the fridge. And the other role there is uh, fridge guardians, so people come uh, every day of the week to clean out the fridge, make sure it meets the food hygiene standards and keep all the food in there safe and hygienic. Because obviously there are standards that have to be kept. Absolutely, they? and we do get inspections sometimes, so yeah, we try and keep it nice in there. Tell me about the pantry in the high street, because not a lot of people know about that one. What's that? Yeah, that's a bit more on, on the down low. So where the community fridge is, is for everyone and anyone to use, and we want everyone to use it. Um, because otherwise the food will be wasted. Uh, the community pantry focuses uh, completely on food crisis, so that's for people who don't have enough money to afford to eat, um, people who are struggling locally, and there are lots of them, and unfortunately it is getting worse, and food banks are becoming more common. Mm -hmm. The pantry operates a bit differently to a regular food bank, so with a regular food bank people will um, come in and they'll be, they'll be given a parcel or parcels might be delivered but at our pantry people walk in and they can select items so it works kind of like a shop uh, with counter service so you'll stand at the counter and you'll pick out 10 items and we like people to make a donation of £2.50 if they're able to but then a lot of people can't as well. Hence why they're there. Exactly. So, so whereabouts um, in the high street are you? It is located in Sonus Magus Music Shop, so that's at number 51, it's up by Earth Fair. They, you were doing boxes during the lockdown, weren't you, on yes, a Saturday, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we still do, we do deliveries uh, for people who are unable to come up to the pantry, which can be for many different reasons, anxiety, other medical issues, people might be disabled and can't get up there, or simply just, you know, single parent families or people with no car, um, who it's not feasible to come to the pantry every week, we do deliver to those people as well. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, the big question, volunteers, who do you need, what do you want, how do they get in touch? So we need uh, people who, who love the, the environment and uh, helping to reduce the amount of food waste. Obviously there are, there are billions of tonnes of food wasted in the UK every year uh, while millions of people are living in, in food poverty. So we want to start remedying that and pass on ideas, make this idea bigger, get people doing it in other communities. So we need people who are passionate about that, passionate about doing community work, um, people who could come along and just, just offer their own little bit really pick out some of the tasks that need doing, be on hand in case in case we need extra help. We have a big refurb coming up at the community fridge. It's looking a little bit untidy in there, so we want to pull everything out, uh, repaint, get lovely new wooden shelves, and there's going to be a lot of scrubbing down and lifting and carrying to do. So if you feel like coming along and getting involved with a lovely community resource, then do get in touch. You can contact us on our Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash love Glastonbury, or you can email us at admin at loveglastonbury.com as well. Well, there you have all the information you need. So get push, get pushing those buttons and tapping those screens and get involved because this is fantastic. Will we coming back to see the revamp? Because I love watching things develop. So we'll, we'll be coming back while that's happening. And obviously there'll be a reopening at some point. There will be a grand reopening, yes. A grand reopening. And of course, Glastonbury Gabriel will be there so that you can be there too. But for now, let's go off and thank you, Jemima. Thank you, you Gabriel. And I sprung it on this poor lady. She <laughs> didn't even know she was doing this today. I had four hours notice. Yeah, so we, we do that so that they can't escape. It's a bit like when you get a customer in the shop, you lock the door so you can't go away. But anyway, yeah, we will be coming back and doing that. But now we're off to meet some volunteers, the actual people that make this work. Let's go. So, this is Dave. Dave's a volunteer. Dave. Why do you volunteer? I volunteer because my friends, uh, Gina, Ty Wharton and Mark Ty Wharton set this project up and uh, we were having some struggles when we first started uh, to do with people's uh, sometimes behaviour and I'm used to working on the street so I took over the role of security and logistics. Uh, I uh, close the fridge every day, open and close it on the weekends. I pick up from Morrison's every single day and I pick up from Fair Share 
that we meet the uh, lorry from Fair Share Bristol in Wales on Mondays too. And uh, so, and also with Jemima, we solve the problems. Um, and what do you what do you get out? What do you get out of volunteering? Uh, it's uh, nice to be in service and help people. Uh, it's a great project, and I've got uh, uh, I've had a lovely life doing what I do, and I've got spare time, and I like to get involved in the community. I'm also a community connector. NHS Health and Community Connections. Fantastic. So that's one volunteer. Let's talk to another one. So, well, here we are with a new volunteer now. Let's go and talk to Justin. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? I'm good, thanks. Good, good. And this is the Frank, isn't it? This is the, <laughs> this is the Alfie. The Alfie. The Alfie. I have a yeah. really bad memory for names. <laughs> Sorry, Alfie. Frank. The Alfie. There can't be many dogs called Frank. There can't Frank. be many dogs called Frank. There might be. So, what made you volunteer? Um, well, I... Um, I saw a post uh, on Facebook by, by Dave Beach yeah, yeah. just saying that they were, were requiring more um, volunteers so I, I thought I'd put my name in the hat. I've, I've used uh, the food bank and the, the pantry mm -hmm. over, over the last few months on and off so it's obviously a, a, a great service and so um, I, I've got some free time so I, I thought I'd like to to pitch in a little bit. Fantastic. Yeah. So you, you, you'd encourage other people to do it as well? Obviously. Yeah, most definitely, because uh, yeah. there are a lot of people who use it. It's obviously essential for, for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, anybody that's got just, you know, uh, an hour or even just an hour free yeah. a week that could, could help out, I'm sure would be would be appreciated. And then get to meet this wonderful chap. He's ignoring you, Gabriel. Yes, because right, I called him the Frank. That's Sorry, the Alfie. <laughs> oh, my God. I am never going to live that down. Well, thanks, Justin. Nice meeting you, Gabriel. And you, and it's absolutely wonderful to meet you, Alfie. Yeah, Alfie Frank, yeah. Alfie Frank, yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Thank you.